All right, we are packing up. We're almost done. Phil found this hat in the car, so he started wearing it. <laughs> We've actually been up since about 6 o'clock this morning. We went out, watched the sunset, or sunset, <laughs> the sunrise over Old Faithful, which was lovely. Um, we took our Halloween shoot, which I'll put some photos in here. About to depart from cabin 221. Plan is we're gonna picnic with breakfast again. Then we're gonna walk on Upper Geyser Basin to see Clepsydra because she's one of our favorites. Did you just come over to wave? Huh? Okay. Um, then we're gonna hit up West Yellowstone and do some Christmas shopping. Then we're gonna head on our way. Then we're gonna stop in St. Regis to also do Christmas shopping. <laughs> All right, so this is the Old Faithful Lodge. This is where you pick up your keys, drop off your keys. There's a cafeteria in there, which we really do need to try one of these times. There's also a gift shop. But as soon as Phil is done playing Pokemon, we will make our I way out. I feel judged. He's a little bit judged. Oh, our last view of Old Faithful. I don't even know game. how many times we saw this thing go off seven, this time. I think, it's like six or seven. So that it, it just seems like weird because like you can tell that he's blocking the whole way. If someone's in a wheelchair, they can't get by that. What? Welcome to the Geyser Basin. Absolutely one of our favorites. I think it's just a natural it's jar. Fountain paint pots. Also, I almost ate it. The dead trees are always very striking. So I don't think we've seen this one go off before. It's we really, have not that much. You can't really see much, it's all steamy. Oh, oh, show her too, I love Clepsidra. And here's Clepsidra, our favorite. It just needs to be a little more windy. Apparently we're getting rained on as well. From Kissed. <laughs> Try not to show too much because it does damage lenses yeah. with the silica. It's a little steamy between us. It's finally a breeze hit, so... But it's a breeze going towards us. Not towards them anyways. I guess for us too. Yeah. We need the breeze to go slightly right. Or honestly, if it went back, that would be perfect. That way? Yeah. Right. Ooh, good. Yeah. Oh, the clouds are getting better, maybe? I don't know. But we just missed it. But the guy over here got creamed by the lots of water. You can see it all over the. Boardwalk. Boardwalk. It really came down. It's furthest I've ever seen from this bit. Yeah. Fun. We're on our way to Haley's favorite. Couple doopers. Haley's favorite area. The bloopers. Decently high. Why is this one famous, Haley? Because of death. Aww. But it looks so inviting. It does. It's the hottest too because there's no mats in the. There are mats. Inside it now. Like oh, way out. Edges. Yeah, but not inside it, so yeah. it's real hot before it gets out there. We would know exactly how hot it was, but Phil forgot the puke. He did. Stop. So we stopped for lunch, breakfast, brunch. Brunch. And um, yeah, we're gonna go heat up the burritos, 
This is just called the Madison River. Picnic area. Yeah. It's not very far off the road, like the road's right there. So whatever. But the Madison River's right there. So it's nice. What you didn't hear was both of us sighing sadly as we get to the park exit. My Yellowstone. Goodbye, Jenny Stone. But it really is until next time. I mean, we we never spent that long away. It's hard to stay away. <laughs> I think in the time we've been together, the most we've been away from Yellowstone is two or three years. So, Labor Day traffic, not that bad. I really thought that it was going to be worse. It is also 11.30. I'm sure at 8 this wasn't fun. The DP is for the Native American celebration of the 150th. Oh, wow. All right, on to West Yellowstone and some gift shops. Zoltar the Great Gypsy is here to give you ancient wisdom for your happiness. Pay attention now. Men of genius are admired. Men of wealth are envied. Men of power are feared. But only men of character are trusted. And you know, it never hurts to bribe your friends on sometimes. For example, give me a bit more cash and I will give you your fortune. So we've made it back to Butte. You can tell because there's a tall lady in the distance. I think she's Jesus's mommy. Maybe I'll leave him in Butte. That car was sitting in the truck. Did you see that? No, but when I'm editing, I'll probably. I wasn't really looking. All right, we are back in the car. Excellent potty break. Also got us drinks Yo, and surprise nuggies. Nice. Yeah, it was a nice bathroom. This is the only McDonald's I've ever seen with a water feature. Yeah. It's over by the drive-thru. Yeah, they have, it's also had one of those live, laugh, love things in the lobby. I don't know what you're talking so, about. You know those... Oh, wow. We, um, we can turn right here. Yeah, you know the live, laugh, love, like, wall art? Oh, I didn't notice. It, well, it said gather here. Oh. The same concept. That is a dead mall. Check that out. Yeah, that's the one that we went by that you said reminded you of... Ah! Why would you do that phone? This is why we use my phone. Yo, it's so boopy. But yeah, that's the Butte Plaza. She is dead, dead, dead. Yeah, this is the one that has that really old Joanne's in it. Looks like a time traveler Joanne's. Tell me impressed. So we just realized we forgot to record in St. Regis. Uh, we got gas. I got a little gift for mom for Christmas and some earrings for me. Um, there were so many people in there, it was very uncomfortable. So, I think we were in there for maybe five minutes. Yeah. So we could stop got fuel. Yeah. It was not the enjoyable experience that we wanted it to be. I mean, even West Yellowstone wasn't, but West Yellowstone wasn't enjoyable. Because the prices are so damn high. I, uh, the, the deals don't feel like deals anymore. The deals don't feel like deals. They don't have the variety that they normally have. And they're really leaning into the crude stuff. So... Sells, I guess. Yeah. Well, it's also the end of the season. So if it was nice and not crude, it might already sold. The crude stuff might not be selling. Yeah, but it's not even on sale. They're expecting people to pay full price for fart jokes. Um, if you're going to buy a fart joke, you're probably going to pay full price. You don't know any better. Maybe. So we are on Lookout Pass. Five miles until we hit the summit. So we're probably not going to do a recap when we get home, so we might as well do a recap now. So... Thoughts from the trip. We left on Friday, very tired. Um, with going down to the Old Wilson Schoolhouse, it felt like we didn't quite have a Saturday. Yeah. So it felt like everything relied on yesterday, and then yesterday we spent most of it hiking. It felt like it wasn't as much of a Yellowstone trip, because we didn't get to spend as much time in Yellowstone as we normally do when we do a three-day Yellowstone weekend. Because we normally have most of a Saturday, because we get there on the yeah, we would have gotten to Yellowstone at about 9.30 if we hadn't gone down to Wilson and the Tetons. And that's a whole day. I mean, most yeah. people start their days later than that. But it was really nice to visit the schoolhouse. It did feel, yeah, it was really nice. 
I just wish we could have done the schoolhouse and then immediately gone to Yellowstone because we are easily distracted and got very distracted in Teton. Yeah, but we enjoyed Teton. It was nice, but I think I would have enjoyed the day in Yellowstone more. Yeah, wildlife spotting or something. So, th during this trip, we used gypsy guides. Uh, we, you know, we've been to Yellowstone like 10-ish times. I think it's over 10 at this point. And we know a good deal about the park. We are, we are not Yellowstone novices. But we enjoyed doing the gypsy guide when we were in Hawaii, so we figured, hey, maybe we'll learn something we didn't know. And we did learn stuff we didn't know. Yeah. But I don't think it was worth it. I don't think it's as good as the Hawaii one. The Hawaii one was better, but we've never been to Hawaii. The thing, the difference is, is the Hawaiian one had better... Culture. Cultural... Significance. Yeah, like, explain, like... Yeah, they have Hawaiians and stuff. This one, it was just talking about like... What is that geyser? Yeah, and park safety. He went over that like a bajillion times. And I mean, I get it. For your first trip to Yellowstone, Gypsy Guide would be super fun. Yeah, but it didn't introduce things. Like we were thinking, I honestly thought it might be more like a... Uh, like a uh, uh, Yellowstone... What's that one we do? I don't know. Janet book. Oh, yeah. Yellowstone it's Treasures by yeah. Janet Chapel, which is the preeminent Yellowstone guidebook. If you're going to Yellowstone, you need to get Yellowstone Treasures by Janet Chapel. Yeah. Which we enjoyed. I thought it would be more like that. I thought it would be like an audiobook version of a GPS tagged version of that book. Yeah, like, this is why this is called this. This is some of the history about that. And it was to some extent, but it was very broad. And I... I geared very towards first time visitors yeah. who might not have done all the research that we might have done. I mean, he still had his normal sense of humor. He was enjoyable. And there were certainly some facts that we learned that we didn't know. But I don't think it was worth it. I mean, $10 is... 15 and Also, the big thing that took away was we weren't able to listen to our normal adventure music. Yeah, we couldn't listen to our own music. Um, you're going to notice some really awkward cuts because He'd we would be filming and he would start talking. Yeah. So, overall, if it's your first time in Yellowstone or maybe your second or third... I think know. just first. Yeah. I think by... It depends your, how much time you spent the first time. If you it, ever did a week the first time, you don't need it. But if it's your, like your, you know... If you only have one day in Yellowstone, yeah, he's a great guide. And if you've only been there for a day or two, yeah, you're going to enjoy it. But if you are a seasoned veteran, then it is not the guide for you. I don't know if there is one. Maybe we should make one. Yellowstone, for people who've been there a bunch and already know everything. We're going to have to work with uh, Jan, uh, Jan Chapman. Chapel. Uh, Chapel. Chapel. Is it? It might be Chapman. I think it's Chapel. To GPS tag her book. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the GPS tags were fun. I would say they weren't as close as they were in Hawaii either. Yeah, Hawaii... I think the Hawaiian one is newer, isn't it? I have no idea. Because the, the tags were much more relevant. To and, exactly where you were at that moment. And some, some of these felt a little like before, like places a little beforehand or a little bit too late. I mean, he did help us. I'm not saying that it was worthless. 55. It's just the value we derived from it was not what we were thinking we were derived from. Yeah. But, I mean... I think we had unrealistic high expectations. Because we enjoyed the Hawaii one so yeah. much. The Hawaii one made the Big Island trip. It, yeah, it's a big factor of what we enjoyed. Also, this one starts a little... The Little Idaho, yeah. On the one that I drive by every day, our Little Idaho got taken down because people were putting racist stickers on it. Welcome to Idaho. Yeah, and the time automatically changed now. It says we're getting there just before 7 o'clock. So what would you say was your highlight from the trip? they did because it was a horseshoe but sunset with the geysers was really or sunrise with the geysers was really fun but i mean stargazing last night was fun too oh, we didn't take you because it was pitch black you couldn't have seen anything 
I would say the highlight for me was actually going back to the schoolhouse. Yeah. I would agree. Least best. How I felt after the hike. For me, it was the creepy lady on the boat. Creepy lady? Yeah, the lady that's out with us. Oh, yeah. All right. So, I don't think we'll vlog again for this trip. So, thank you for coming with us. Yeah. Uh, we think our next trip is Seattle. But it depends on if Brett McKenzie cancels the concert or not. We don't know for sure our next year's... Uh... We're still trying to figure out where our big vacation is for next year. We've got a couple ideas. So remember that part where we said we weren't going to vlog anymore? Surprise. Yeah, we just got a call from the Old Faithful Inn. And we forgot a bag there. Behind the door. Yeah, so they have an area where you can hang stuff up. Behind the door. Yeah, behind the door, and we left it, and it has our binoculars in it, it has our bear spray, all of our camping stuff, and we left it. So they have a website that they directed me to. They said they're going to log everything. Thank God it wasn't anything embarrassing. It's just camping stuff. And now we're going to have to pay to get that shipped back. So I don't know how much that's going to cost. But, I mean, those binoculars are really important to me and yeah and hit like and ring that bell oh god we're not those people <laughs> like the video if you want if you could subscribe though so that i could start getting um paid from youtube that'd be nice yeah because we need more subscribers yeah we need more subscribers and more view time thanks bye